So our next presentation is um, called Virtual Agent Positioning, driven by Scene Semantics in Mixed Reality. And it's going to be presented by Wei Liang. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Wei Liang. Uh, I'm from Beijing Institute of Technology. Uh, the first author is Yi Ning Lang, and unfortunately, he just has some surgery on eyes, so he cannot come here. Uh, and I'm going to talk about our work, uh, virtual agent positioning, uh, driven by seeing semantics in mixed reality. Uh, virtual agents in mixed reality uh, may help users a lot in many uh, practical uh, scenarios such as uh, engineering, assistance, entertainment, war, education, and so on. As we all know, uh, mixed reality uh, aims to combine the virtual uh, environments and uh, physical world together. Uh, so in practice, nobody wants to say such things like this. The agent uh, stands in front, uh, in front of the user, but it uh, occludes the, the, the laptop. So if the user wants to ask help from the agent, uh, he, may, uh, he may not see the screen. Or like this, uh, an agent just floats on the air. It is weird. Uh, to deal with the viral, uh, viral agent's positioning problem, some applications uh, uh, place the virtual agents directly in front of the user. Uh, so the virtual agents might float in the air, just as uh, Pokemon Go, the, the game. Uh, an alternative solution is to predefine some surfaces, and then the user, uh, and then the, uh, the agents uh, may be place, uh, placed on those uh, surfaces, like Thomas Ward. Uh, however, without considering the semantics of the scene, uh, such as uh, uh, geometry or some uh, scene semantics like uh, key objects uh, which the, uh, the users are interacting with, uh, maybe it, cause, uh, it causes some inconvenient and unnatural uh, interactions. Uh, in our work, we attempt to design a pipeline uh, to place an agent in mixed reality setting. Uh, the location and the orientation of the uh, agent should be appropriate and consistent with the scene semantics. Here is the framework, uh, framework of our approach. Given a scene in which a user will interact with an agent, our approach optimizes uh, the location and the orientation for the agent so that the user can, uh, can feel convenient and natural. Uh, uh, natural. To obtain the sem uh, sem semantics of the scene, we first in construct 3D model of the scene, and then uh, we run some object detectors to find the, the, uh, some key objects in the scene. Uh, the key objects here refer to some uh, items uh, which are relevant to the user's interactions, uh, such as sofa, TV, a laptop, and something like that. Uh, then we define, uh, we design an optimizer to uh, search for an optimal location and orientation for the agent. Uh, first, I would like to talk about uh, the uh, pre-processing. Uh, this figure shows an example of the pre-processing results uh, on the Right on the right, figure A is a 3D model of the scene, which is reconstructed from the physical world uh, by an MR device such as a uh, Hollands. Uh, figure B is the uh, object detection results achieved by a uh, mask RCNN object detector. 
uh, the bounding boxes uh, depict the, the object uh, location and uh, also the segmented results, uh, which is colored by, by blue and red. Uh, on the corner, uh, there, there are categories for each object and the uh, detection uh, belief scores. Uh, during the interaction, uh, there are some objects whose visibility will affect the user's interaction experience. Uh, for example, those objects which the user are watching or interacting with uh, should not be occluded by the agent. So we predefine some uh, key objects for the, for, for the uh, positioning of the agents. Uh, for our experiments, totally, we define uh, five categories of key objects. Uh, some instance and detection results are shown here. Uh, the key objects include computer, vegetable, uh, vegetables, uh, television, and so on. It's worth to note that uh, the predefined key objects uh, are uh, easily to be extended according to different interaction tasks. Then uh, we solve the problem of positioning the uh, visual uh, agent by an optimization process. We design an optimizer uh, for, for, uh, for, for an optimal conf uh, configuration uh, searching, uh, which is driven by the uh, semantics of the scene, uh, inclu uh, uh, including visibility and uh, uh, spa uh, spatial information. Uh, here is uh, a cost function. Uh, the visibility cost uh, ensures that the visual uh, agent will not occlude the key objects. If the occlusion happens, uh, the visibility cost will increase. Uh, spatial cost here models users' con uh, conventional choices, uh, including relative distance and orientation of the visual agent to the user. Uh, for the visibility cost, we consider a weighted uh, occlusion map. Uh, the occlusion map shown here is rendered from the user's uh, viewpoint. Uh, the white uh, uh, red uh, region uh, shows the parts of the key object occluded by the virtual agent. On the left, it is a, a weight matrix which denotes how important each point on the key object is. Uh, it's in, in intuitively uh, that the center of an object usually is more important than the uh, boundary. Uh, so we design this, uh, this matrix. Uh, as shown in the figure, uh, the redder the color, the larger the penalty is. Uh, the visi uh, visibility cost will penalize, will penalize occlusion caused by the visual uh, 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 virtual agent. Uh, for different interaction tasks, uh, the comfortable distance and orientation of the virtual agent could be different. Uh, so uh, when we consider the spatial cost, we fit one mixed Gaussian distribution for each interaction task. Uh, we invited uh, 30 participants to take part in the conventional uh, choices data collection. During the collection, uh, each participant was asked to wear a Holland's helmet, and then uh, they, uh, they observed the virtual uh, agents, uh, which were uh, placed in front of him uh, randomly by our uh, approach. And then uh, the participants uh, could, uh, could adjust the location and the orientation of the, uh, the, the, the agent. Uh, then we recorded the current configuration, uh, which uh, the user uh, felt the best. Uh, each participant uh, repeated the choices five times for one task. 
uh, so uh, here is the example of uh, example of the, the data from one user. Uh, the yellow yellow dots uh, denote the user, and the red dots denote the uh, uh, denote his choices, and the arrow uh, shows the uh, shows the orientation of the agent. Uh, then we apply uh, MCMC, uh, that is a Markov chain Monte Carlo techniques to uh, optimize the configuration. Uh, this demo shows the optimization uh, process. Uh, the MCMC algorithm sampled proposals, then the defined uh, cost function will calculate uh, each, uh, each cost uh, for, for each uh, proposal. We design three types of interaction tasks which cover the common interaction between a uh, user and uh, virtual agents. And they are communication task, uh, teaching task, and guiding uh, task. Uh, this video shows a result generated for a com uh, com communication task optimized by our uh, approach. The agent sits on a chair and uh, communicates with the user keeping a, a safe social distance with a, a natural orientation. Uh, at the same time, uh, the visibility cost will constrain the location of the agent to prevent it from occluding the TV uh, from the user's viewpoint. This is an example of teaching task. Uh, the agent uh, teaches the user how to cook we may notice that the distance uh, between the user and the agent uh, is uh, closer uh, than that in the communication task. Uh, such a prior uh, distance was learned from the course data. Uh, this is a guiding task, and the agent is introducing uh, the, the, the drink and food in the freezer to the user. Here is, oh, here is the communi uh, communication task. And our approach also can be uh, ap applied for different scenario, like uh, teach the user uh, to use computer in the meeting room or uh, guiding the user to find some books he wants in the library. Uh, to investigate the influence of the weights in the cost function, uh, we did ablation experiments. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the first figure, we uh, didn't consider a visibility cost. So uh, you may notice that the, the, the orientation and the location are uh, reasonable, but it uh, occludes the, the laptop. We also did a regression analysis, and it shows that it shows that uh, uh, that our cost value and the uh, user score are negative uh, uh, correlation. Uh, Let's summarize our contributions as follows. Uh, we introduce a new problem of positioning virtual agents according to sem uh, semantics in mixed reality. We propose an optimization-based approach for the virtual agent positioning, and we also conduct uh, user studies to evaluate our approach. Okay, that's the presentation. Thanks for your attention. So we have time for a quick question. Okay, so maybe just a quick question by me. So um, if I understand it correctly, you um, um, did not take the size of the agent um, as a dependent variable of your algorithm. So you essentially, um, someone just gave you the, um, the agent and then you uh, can compute the visibility, et cetera, for an 
um, from an arbitrary 3D model that's fed into your algorithm, or is it dependent on that specific model that you used for the uh, for this paper? Oh, uh, the 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 results are from the uh, automatic co uh, calculation from a uh, real thing. So if you uh, uh, wear a Hollands in any room, and it will pro uh, output a reasonable location and position. Okay, very nice. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank our speaker again.